What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, long time in a soon. Alright, so Sasha, Sasha, you, you need to come off my page because me never company, me never, you never pay for company here, you know. You did not pay for come on my page. So let's try to take yourself fast and quick. Alright? You never pay for come on my page. Alright, so watch a fast, you know, me break the fast, you know. You see? So many things going on. So many things going on, but um, I found one thing out of everything that's going on. I found one thing <laughs> very interesting. Yeah? I found one thing very interesting. And please remember, my videos are not for everybody to share. Only people who I give permission to share my videos can share my videos. Alright? Because some people see me do my video them and think that I put my do my video them to get likings and and attention right only two persons are allowed to share my video if i did not give you permission to share my video you cannot share my video all right because yeah i don't want people think say i just start to come on the internet to talk because we have music we're putting out music we're promoting music and i notice that when we do these lives people people the people them where i rebroadcast the live them them cut out the music, them don't push the music, them don't support the music, them don't promote the music. You understand what I say? So, um, for the people who were interested in the life, them were, when I put it forward, and I've been promoting Mr. Vegas music as well, big up on yourself, because a music me do, music is my occupation, singing is my occupation, music is what feed me and my family. I don't no, no, no have no monetized page for making the money off of vlogging. I don't monetize my page. I just come and speak freely so people can get a different perspective or people can, we can analyze things. And one, and one subject that, that means a lot to me is my ancestors. Them. You understand me? I say, even when I don't want to talk about nobody else or I don't want, want to talk about nothing else, one thing that can come off of the table, one thing that I will continue to speak about is my ancestors. Them. You understand me? I say, because me personally feel obligated to my ancestors. Them. The fight when them fight for me come out of chains and shackles and me can't have a roof over my head and me cannot live free. I'm living free. I don't have, have chains on. I don't have in a plantation. I'm not on a plantation cutting sugar cane with people that beat me. Or people that whip me or people that are, are, you know, I feel worried say, yo, somebody going to sell me tomorrow and somebody is going to sell me. You know, me have my wife. I don't have to worry say, master going to come into the room and rape my wife or rape my woman in front of me are rape her and send her back on the plantation and then me have to look in her face because master just violate her. You understand? I have to worry so when I get children, somebody could take my children and sell them to the highest bidder. You understand? I say, so one thing now will ever, ever come off of the table because just like how people believe, so when they leave the earth, they're going to see Jesus and they're going to see God. Me have a strong feeling so when I leave that realm here, when I leave that realm here, I'm going to meet up back with my ancestors them. I have a strong feeling that I'm going to meet up back with my, my, my ancestors, them, the spirit, them. Because spirit can't dead, you know. You understand? I say, people think, say, yo, when, when, when we leave the flesh, that just the, when we leave the earth, that's the final stage. Me don't believe so. You don't have to believe that. You, you, you can believe whatever you want to believe. But me personally believe that so I'm going to meet up back with my ancestors, them. You understand? I say, and I guess, you know, like in you know, the Black Panther movie, if you watch a Black Panther movie, you see them meet up back with them ancestors when, you know, them thing there. You see what I say? And it's funny, the youth with, with, with that passed off, the, the, the youth with, with, with starring at the Black Panther movie. See what's funny? The man actually, you know, he died in the movie and, and he saw his ancestors and he came back. And he's actually dead now for real. Dead now for real. So, maybe it's a manifestation. So, with all of that said, my ancestors they mean so much to me more than anything else because them fight for my freedom. Them fight for my freedom. So, I'm not busy with dirty hard people where they quote unquote the end the end people them the, the the bad the bad the bad s people them s the bad slav people them the fierce they slav them the hype slav them the sellout slav them them not have nothing over me them not have nothing over me my, my, my choice of you know things them women do like come forward and speak on these issues them not have the power they over me them not impact my life negatively or positively, not none at all. You see what I say? 
Did I may reason with her sister, Tanya Stevens, and you know, we come to a general consensus and I hope I can share this. We come to a general consensus, say, yo, some fight over a fight for some people and I try to enlighten people and everything. Sometimes it's not even worth it, but one thing for sure, and I hope, say, you know, I can say this. One thing for sure, I, I, I can't fight and make people know this. I, mean, I can't fight in that item. Me not stop talking about my ancestors, then. You see, no matter what. Them they have to talk for themselves, so me have to talk for them. Now, with that said, the royal family now is in Jamaica. You see, them still here, I don't know if they're still there because I don't follow the news. Because I will power work them. So I don't know if they're still here, but you know, they came yesterday, touched down yesterday. Yeah? And there's a lot of ignorance going around with the royal family. People proliferating a lot of, you know, misinformation when it comes down to the royal family. Yeah? Because I don't think some of you get it yet. That this is the crown's land. You see? One, you know, we see some vloggers I talk about how Jamaica pay the taxes um, or pay the bill. I pay most of the bill for them come here. For the for the for the the prince and his wife come here. But in truth, this is actually the crown's land. This are the British state that them own the land. You understand what I say? We're living on crown land. That is the reason why when I buy a property, when I buy a property, you know, I don't own the property. I'm just a holder. You know? I'm just a holder and I can transfer it to somebody else. You understand? So I will never ever fully outright own a piece of land. Hence the reason if I don't pay taxes on the land for a long period of time, somebody can start paying the taxes and take the land. It was that. So we can educate ourselves in other time here. In, a, in the times that we're in, there's enough information to educate ourselves. So we don't really follow them down the rabbit hole. I wouldn't really follow the ignorance. You understand me? I say, because I think say, if me learn them things here, I can pass it on to who no know. Or who ignorant to the, to, the, to the fact. So it's basically the crown land. Crown, all of the land are crown land where we live on. We live on crown land. We don't own nothing. We don't own nothing. Furthermore, we don't even own ourselves. We don't even own ourselves because remember that the British state bought us from individuals individual slave owners so that uh, that is something that y'all should know you understand yeah who interested in learning you maybe can look this up or research this for yourself you see? <laughs> see so the the british state yeah had to buy us from the individual owners and why they bought us they bought us from the individual owners slave owners because we were rebelling and people were losing property because we were basically labels as property we are still properties you know and we are still the property of the british state but them not really rub it out now in your face and they don't really put it forward and them call you people now and them call you humans now but you're really you're really you know some form of commodity yeah that is how they used to, um, because they used to transport you, transport us across the Atlantic as, you know, commercial goods. You see? <laughs> so, we have to understand that. That the British state bought us because we were rebelling. Yeah, we were rebelling and they, they were losing, you know, loss of property. So, it, it would have been like, okay, they are rebel, we can keep fighting with them and kill them off. We're going to lose more. Um... So some of the slave owners, them were like, yeah, we now give up a property. And the British states said, all right, here what now? We will take on the bill. We will give on the, on the money for the properties, which is the slave them. This are on the property. So we are paying on the, for the property. So that money is not paid back to the British state as yet. You see? That money is not paid back to the British state as yet. So the British state technically still own we. Yeah? That, hence the reason when they bought us. Yeah? They had to do, we had to do some apprenticeship with the, to offset some of the bill because they never paid the full money in cash. We had to do apprenticeship 
to pay off some of the expense, pay off some of the bill to the individual slave owners. You see? So what that means is we're still owned by, you know, the crown. You see? We and the land belong to the crown. Yeah? Facts. Plus, you know, as soon as your baby is born, as soon as you were, you were born, you get a number. You see? So that number there is significant because that is basically um, the number you fall in line, you know, which, which product, what the number in the product. So basically, you know, you birth, you see? Like how the ship come and birth and it give off the goods them. Yeah, so the doctor, the ship duck, you know, birth, give out the goods them, same thing, duck, birth, and the goods come forward, which is the human. Quote, quote unquote, human, right? So what does this mean? When people are talking about we are paid taxes, or we are paid the bill for the for the for the for the the, um, the royal family come here. No. It's not so. It's for them place. You see? It's their properties, everything. It's, it's not like, oh, are we a foot in a bill? A for them place. They must come to them property. They must come to them place until, I guess, they come to some form of agreement and we're no longer under the Queen. Then we'll be under the Chinese. See? You remember to this day when you're going to the courthouse, when you're going to court, if me and you fight and we go in a court, them don't call up Clifford Smith versus John Jones. It's Clifford Smith versus the British state. Right? It's Clifford Smith versus um, the Queen or whosoever them up on the, 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 the thing. And before the court start, them have to say a them have to say a pledge to the Queen. And so me say, and so me say, so them say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, God bless the Queen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, God save the Queen. Everybody, the judge, everybody, everybody, they, 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 they must say that before the proceedings. They must say that. Must say that. You see, the mother said, God save the queen. Not God save us, not God save our land. Not God save, God save the queen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. God save the queen. That going to any courthouse before the court proceedings, and that is mandatory. You understand what I say? That is mandatory. To this day, the, 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 the judge is called master. Presently, the judge that you're going in front of is called master. You see? So all of these terms, yeah, you know they're connected what? To the royal state. Yeah? So when you go into the court, the judge is called master. By even the lawyers, you know, they must address him as master. Uh, address her as master. You see? You can't argue that, say, oh, it's your honor or whatever, say, but it's master, you have to address them as master. You see? Now, with all of that said, it is rubbish when people telling you that, oh, we are PFA, the Queen, people, them come here, or the British monarchy family come here. You see? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah? So why may I say all of this No, Let me just explain to you. Because I lay the foundation to make you understand why. And the only reason I speak out against um, Cory Mountain is because, one, I think he's very ignorant to the history of the British state. And the... Um, because of his ignorance, I think he, 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 he used some rhetoric more time, some rhetoric more time where um, I think it's disrespectful to the descendants of, of, of Africans that were enslaved by this state, this British state. And I don't think he's aware of, of it. And why, and no one is challenging him on it. But I feel obligated to my ancestors, the same way he feel obligated to his ancestors, which is, them, I think, them have 
us as two separate people. But I see, you know, the people in the, 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 the British state to keep us in slavery. I see them as Africans, but they were like some sellout Africans. You see? I don't hold, you know, the descendants them of those sellout Africans as sellout. You understand? Because I can't hold it to something from 1738 that your ancestors are, our ancestors did, but we were all Africans. You understand me? I said, they were all African people. We just had some sellout African people that helped, you know, in the colonization of black people. You see? That is a fact. The, 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 the British state was able to control and rule over us because they had help from the sellout Africans. So when I speak, I when I see somebody come now and try and make it act as if we must not be offended when they speak negatively about our ancestors that if it were not for them, you know, fighting revolution and fighting the Sam Sharp revolution, maybe we would have still been in slavery. We don't know. Or maybe we would have been one of the poorest countries you know, on earth, yeah, is our resilient and, um, you know, them things they make and our, our hard work and dedication and we used to be more together, you know, we used to sing songs together and rebel together and, you know, share with each other, them things that is what basically, you know, assisted us and then we, then, then we had talent like, you know, singing music and music was the gateway out of poverty, yeah? Because remember at one point we couldn't play soccer in certain stadiums, we couldn't play cricket in certain, you know, on certain fields and we couldn't play in any sports, certain sports because, you know, we were not qualified as, as Negroes to play in certain sports. So singing, nobody couldn't tell us don't sing. You see? Nobody couldn't stop us from singing. And when we sang, people gathered and then it turned into an industry. And we are here now as musicians, as singers, as dancers, as DJs. See? So I want to revisit. I want to revisit a statement. Where 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 Cory Morton, where Cory Morton make. Prior to the the the, 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 the British state, the British um, the British people them visit. Yeah, the prince and him woman. I want to read a statement. Yeah. This statement was posted March 1st, yeah? And is, this statement is why I no longer subscribe to Bujubantan, you see? Because I used to have like the highest of respect for Bujubantan, like, like Bujubantan was like, yo, you see what I say? Like my artist, like my dan, like yo, Buju, you see what I say? But yes, I lose respect for Bujubantan, why? Because I know, say, it's like, I don't know that person here. You see what I say? And I don't, don't go hide and talk. I don't go be a hypocrite. I don't go hide and talk and say, boy, Jano, I say, Buju over Curry, Mutton Page. I like a post and I like him post them with my disrespect. I am talk a way against the ancestors them. We are free without a chains and shackles. And as a Rasta man, I say, yo, Buju supposed to know, say, yo, our ancestors them fight for we. Not the sellout maroons them. Are the, are the ancestors them fight for it. So I'm going to take you back to a post. <laughs> you see? When Mr. Myrie I like the post, I feel, I feel hurt by even seeing it. And it show up as I open it again. So this post was made on March 1st, 2022 by Cory Morton. You see? So Cory Morton said in a statement, We commemorate, we commemorate and pay homage Listen, we commemorate and pay homage to the firm and sacred treaty between two sovereign states. Cory Morton posted this the 22nd of March, the 1st of March, 2022, sorry. We commemorate and pay homage. Listen that, you know. Pay homage to the firm and sacred treaty. The firm and sacred treaty between two sovereign states. At the upper 
um, the maroon town with them there, up a compound, and the British state. You see? This is what Curry Mountain say now. He might pay home. We, spend not talking just him, about just himself. We pay homage I wonder if you understand what I say. A man I tell you say impure homage to a firm and sacred. When something is sacred in a people, that means it's dear to you, you know. When somebody say they might pay homage to something we sacred, you know. I mean is it yo, this means a lot to you, you know, that like this dear to you, you know. To the 1730 year treaty. So what was the 1730 year treaty? We, we don't have to go over that again because we must know by now because from we have talked about it and have burned it out. See, before Robot Man. Because we have burned out the treaty before Robot Man, you know. Understand that? You see? That understands that we have, out the, we have burned out this treaty thing from Daniel days. From Daniel, till we and Daniel get the can reason and coexist and where Daniel knows say no man and Daniel and me know say yo no treaty never exists a, a blood oath and rare and blah 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 and we say alright since you say no treaty never exists but watch you know this man ya overwrite even where Daniel come forward with and say yo he might pay homage to this treaty was sacred then you know say the treaty was what in the treaty was to return runaway slaves in the treaty was for the British state, yeah, to keep ruling over Africans, to keep enslaving Africans, to keep working Africans to death, to keep us in chains and shackles, etc. We don't know, we don't know that, we don't, we don't, we don't have to go into it. So that was what the treaty was about, you know. We need the assistance of this, the Queen's militia, because that they are the first members of the Queen's militia, you know. Remember, I said it. The sellout Africans, them, they were the first members of the Queen's militia, you know, which is now the JDF. Understand that, you know. The police academy, you know. The run out, the, 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 um, the sellout Africans, right? The sim around them. We mean wild people. Because Maroon derived from the word Simaron, right? And it actually means wild. You know, them something there. So them used to call them wild people. So when man come put up etymology of the word maroon, no, you have to look where maroon come from. Where the word maroon derives from. You see? It derives from a word that actually means wild people, like, you know? <laughs> so, and so the Spanish them, they term them. So we have to understand is, Somebody up here reverence to this treaty here. And I make you know say, yo, yeah, it's sacred to we. Presently. It's not like a man did write this in a 1750, 1760, when them used to get paid for return runaway slaves. And them say, yo, this means something to we because we have make money. And we get to keep our freedom. There is no way a person must come forward now. In a this time and age now. And in a this modern time until we say the treaty is sacred we pay homage this man here appear homage the first of march 2022 appear homage to a treaty that was designed to stop people from runway from slavery designed to stop people who were in chains and shackles, who have been raped, who have been murdered, hang down trees. To stop that. You see? So I'm saying the treaty was between two sovereign nations. So I must say him of a sovereign nation. And we're not going to go over all of this in a minute, but I just want to take you back to the first post. So I must say, Cory Mutton said, as a heir and successor, to Captain Kojo, 
I take this opportunity on behalf of the Maroons to extend a warm welcome to the British Royals, Prince William, future King of England, and Duchess of Cambridge, Kate, on their proposed visit to the island in March 2022. I want you to understand what's going on here. Curry Mountain said this on the 1st of March. As heir and successor to Captain Kojo, I take this opportunity on behalf of the Maroons. That means Daniel and everybody, everybody in the Maroon land. See? I take this opportunity to extend a warm <laughs> so when somebody see this and say oh the, the chief just want a meeting no this is not like oh i need you know a visit i'm seeking audience this is basically a man i say yo me, I, I, i'm giving you a warm welcome to my sovereign state is it this is it no, but you have to ask yourself the question. You have, or you have to ask Cory Morton when you get to talk to Cory Morton. Where are you welcoming them to? <laughs> because it's too sovereign state. And if you're, if you're putting out, I and the Maroons are taking this opportunity to, welcome, to, to give a warm welcome to the future king and his wife. A warm welcome. Where, where are you welcoming them? Upper Maroon land, upper this, because remember, you know, it's used as two sovereign states, you know, in the same statement. You know. He said, two sovereign states came together and formulated a treaty that is sacred to you. See? So he's extending a warm welcome. You see? Just look on the describing word. A warm welcome. You see? To the British people, them, the Crown people, them. To where? To where? Up, 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 up. I are I are giving him a warm welcome to the other sovereign state. So is, imagine this. This man is supposed to be the king or the chief or the leader or the owner or whatever. Some people are, are a place. Use the, use the leader of a sovereign state. And you are welcoming people from another country to somebody else's country, or somebody else's state, or somebody else's sovereign state. Because if you're saying, I'm giving you a warm welcome to my house, but here we go, the next door you go. <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't make this up. And they say, I mean, I sense people. Them say, I mean, I have a sense. You're going to sit down and laugh about it, and I say, watch ya. Time will tell. And they hire the more.